and welcome back to the V Jones Style channel. Today's video is a fall guide to the top 20 items in my closet that I'm wearing for fall. I realize I've never really done videos where I just talk about some of the best pieces in my closet, those have forever pieces, those I'll never get rid of them pieces. And so today is going to be all about my guide to the top 20 items in my closet for fall that I love. I'm really excited to do this today because I think this is such a great way for me to really decide what are my hero pieces in my closet? What are those things that I absolutely love? These are pieces that I want to hold on forever. They inspire me even if I'm not wearing them all the time. They're the pieces that I just kind of treasure with my heart. So we're just going to walk through the different sections of my closet. I'm going to share probably four-ish pieces from each section. Um, I'm going to try to hit the nose on 20 if I cross over. I can't help it. I do love some of the pieces in my closet and I don't know if I can constrain myself to 20. I was originally going to do just the top 20 items in my closet and then I realized I don't think I can do that. So I limited myself to just fall. So I think this would be fun every season to kind of decide what are my top 20 for each season. So we are going to get started. I also won't be crossing into accessories or shoes. Maybe I'll do another one of those videos. So these are actually the items that are hanging in my closet. Let's get started. And the first item that is one of my top 20 is this incredible purple blazer. This is probably a 1980s blazer. I love the bold color of it and I love how structured this blazer is and I think because it's just such a statement color and shape it has become one of my essentials for fall. I feel like it's a great way to add some bold fun to the fall dressing and I also wanted to share a few images of how I've styled this in the past but this is definitely one of my go-to's especially when I want to feel extra chic and kind of embrace that business vibe and you know go into full-on Melanie Griffith working girl mode but this is definitely one of those key pieces that I'll forever have. I love just the details of it even the buttons being leather as well and that matching purple and it is really funny because for so long I said that I did not like purple. I would never wear purple and then I, you guys might know maybe three or four years ago I just totally dove in on purple and I don't think I'm turning back. The next piece of outerwear that is one of my favorites is my amazing Las Vegas track jacket that I got recently and I picked it up to take it to Las Vegas with me. I wanted kind of a showstopper of a piece which is perfect because it says showboat and it says Las Vegas, Nevada on it. And you can see here a few different ways that I've worn it. And I feel like something super classic, like having jackets, especially a track jacket, something athleisure is something to just have in your closet. I love a blazer, but I do realize that I need more than blazers in my closet. And just having something like this that is a light layer is so nice. I love, again, this is a bold color with a bold red. I love the big graphic on the back. It just kind of adds some fun and kind of silliness, the fact that it's a showboat. And I love that this is also this crinkled red shiny material. So I feel like it adds some glamor to the look even though it's a piece that's very dressed down. And I got this at a magical vintage shop in Orange called Joyride, and it's actually a men's vintage shop, which you don't really find that very often, a specialized men's vintage shop. And I think you should always look in those stores. It's such a great way to find some of these classic pieces. I found so many that day and I kind of had to keep it down to just one piece for myself. But I absolutely love this and I just feel like a jacket like this is timeless, it's trendless, and it's honestly seasonless. We go into spring and I'm for sure still going to be wearing this and I just love it for fall and then even in the winter I can start to layer this up as well. Moving back to a blazer, this one is a funny one but it is one of my absolute favorites and I will never let this one go 
And this is a vintage, I, I don't even know, it's it's probably 90s from X oh the limited which I love old limited pieces especially when it's that old tag it actually reminds me of when I used to shop the li limited in my heyday of my youth but I love this blazer it is so perfectly tailored it's this really great fabric which kind of has almost a tapestry look to it it does have a little bit of shine as well and so it gives more of an evening look or a very sophisticated look to a daytime, you know, tailored menswear look. And I have worn this in so many different ways. You can see right here, I've had this for a while. So I've mixed this in a lot. I love doing a mixed print look with this blazer. I love doing Gucci inspired looks because it is that perfect shape of really recalling to the 70s with it though it's probably a piece from the 90s and I even just love the lining in this and really I would suggest to keep your eye out for old limited or old express pieces sometimes those have been some of my favorite pieces that I've kept in my closet for a really long time and I love this I have rocked this even recently in Las Vegas and it really is just one of those fabulous pieces when I grab it out I feel amazing I feel like it could be Harry Styles or the Mad Hatter or something really fun and this is a gem I might have to go and cross into two more pieces I'm going to try to keep myself to four items from each category but I might have to do two more because you all know I love a good piece of outerwear blazer all of that um, so I'm going to do two more, one being another blazer, and this is just perfectly classic and perfectly statement at the same time. This is this amazing laundry blazer, and what I love about this, first of all, this amazing color, it's a great olive -y green, but it's also these really incredible western details on the collar that I absolutely love. It's a similar color to the blazer but it's um more of a suede detail and i love a good oversized blazer that's going to fit perfectly kind of hang a little bit longer i love embracing a western dressing up moment and so this is a perfect piece for that for me or doing something that isn't western but then throwing this on it adds a little dash of a mix to an outfit and it really is the the color is what to me sends it over the edge and i have styled this again in so many fun ways it's always so classic i feel like you can kind of do that like urban cowboy or you can kind of go like full-on western with this a little bit southwestern i feel like this would also be a great piece to add you know something like a collar to it or a scarf to this but this is definitely one of those key forever i love it it's classic and statement at the same time and then the last piece from my outerwear section is this amazing coat this is judith roberts and you can find pieces of hers on gem a lot of the websites you can find but oh my gosh this is so incredible i picked this up at the end which is a vintage store in joshua tree it is one of the most magical vintage shops so if you're ever in joshua tree you definitely have to stop there and i'll link a video up here where i recently shopped i guess it was earlier this summer that i went there and this i found last year at the end i love again all the purple which is so much fun and just this crazy patchwork with blue and purple it's even got this kind of cool it almost looks like a floral camo print mixed in which i love and then again i love something with some shine in it because it just adds some bold fun to the look and then look at these details of the sleeve it's like a dolman sleeve but it's also kind of got a rounded puffy sleeve shoulder and then it has this amazing detail of these buttons here and you can see right here I've worn this in a lot of different ways I do feel like I've kind of gone western with it a lot of times because I think with those kind of tassel suede uh, silver details it makes me always think of western and I love kind of embracing this super glam western moment I also love because it's so many fun colors you can really go full on with the color with this one I'm having so much fun doing this. I love that I'm having to really decide what are my top four or five pieces from each category. So now let's hop into the next category, which is up in my shirts section. The first top is definitely a moment. I absolutely love 
this top. It's this incredible mesh piece that has gorgeous colors, florals, and it's all about the feathers, the ostrich feathers in these amazing bright starburst orange color. Oh, so good. This is designed by this incredible designer. You need to go check her out on Instagram. It's Scarlettini Original. She makes these. I also picked this up at the end and she has a dress version of this. I actually have another piece of hers that she's made. She's just, I feel like she creates with whimsy and totally the attitude of always playing dress up and just going full out. And this is just such a fun shirt. It's ruched here on the side, which I love. And then it's a one shoulder and then it's got this gorgeous uh, feather detail, which I love. And I've worn this a lot. I've had so much fun either doing layering with it, wearing it on its own. It's such a party piece. I also do feel like this is, again, seasonless and trendless. I've worn this more winter. I've worn this in the summer, of course. And even just thinking about coming up on the holidays, I feel like you can make a piece like this full on holiday mode as well. So this is just one of those super special pieces. I think she does a very small batch of her design, so definitely one of my all-time faves. If you've been a longtime viewer or even a longtime follower of my Instagram, this is a piece that you'll probably recognize. It's something I've had for years, maybe eight plus years, I'm not even sure. But this incredible blouse, I love it. I love everything about it. It is this really incredible mixed print, all these really great contrasting primary colors, which I really love, like very saturated reds and yellows and blues and greens. And then this amazing collar detail. Look at that. And then the sleeve is also, ah, oh, like so much fun, so much fringe. It's just incredible. I picked this up years ago. I actually think Elsewhere Vintage, which is one of my other favorite vintage stores here in Orange County, they opened probably eight, nine, oh my gosh, it might have been 10, 12 years ago. And I remember discovering them. They hadn't even opened. And I remember peering in and being like, oh, what is this place that's coming? And really there wasn't a ton of vintage stores around me. And so I was so excited and they opened their doors. I fell in love with everything in there. And this is a piece that I got in the original days shopping at Elsewhere Vintage. And I've just held on to this. I've definitely, some of the other pieces I've kind of, you know, graduated and passed along, but this is one that I'm just like, I've never seen anything like this with this color. And I really have had so much fun styling this in a lot of different ways. I've done layering a dress over it. I've done it, of course, with pants. I've done it where the collar really pops out and makes such a statement. So, Love it. As I'm pulling each piece out, it is really funny. I feel like most of them, I have the memory of discovering and finding them, which I think is really special that each one has a story because these are found pieces and I feel like each one kind of has that like, oh, I remember that day that I found it. The next item is this incredible animal print blouse. I've had requests from you guys about selling this one and I don't think I can ever part with it. I love it. It's a mix of like cheetah, zebra, tiger, I don't even know. It's very exaggeratedly long. Again, the sleeves are really exaggerated and long. It's more of a stiff cotton, which I actually really like because it kind of has this like dramatic shape to it. It even has more of a dagger collar, which I think is really unique, which also makes me think this might have been made more in the 70s, but totally kind of has a feel of it could be 90s as well, but I think it might be a 70s and it, it isn't even a tag in here. So I'm also wondering if it was handmade and that would be incredible. The story of when I found this piece was, gosh, it's probably been again, three, four, five years. I was thrifting. I might even have a video of me finding this, but I think I was thrifting on a day that was Halloween time, which I've talked about before. October is a magical time to thrift because they pull aside items for Halloween costumes. Of course, a lot of those are really great vintage pieces. And this was in the Halloween area, of course, thinking like, oh, you could be like a wild safari girl or something like that. But I just knew I had to take this home. And this has been one of those pieces that I've 
every season. Boop, boop, boop. Rewear it, restyle it, and I have so much fun with this one. Moving into maybe my kind of vest and additional pieces section, I think one of my favorite vests is this gorgeous Berto Macali leather vest that I love. I love this gold gaudy detail. It's got their rams on the detail, which is amazing. And then this really incredible zipper uh, chain that hangs down. And the back is more of a contrasting, stretchy material, but it really is such an incredible piece. And it does fit kind of more corset and snug. And I've worn this a lot of different ways. I love wearing this actually as a top. I did leather on leather with this. And then also, of course, it, uh, kind of embracing that Western prairie look with white and puff sleeves and recently actually i don't have a photo of this one but i kind of wore it open with the zipper undone but then that chain kind of holding it together it's really cool and then also just the story of me finding this i got this at golden years vintage market a few years ago as well and this is from vault I'm gonna put the vintage uh, shop's name. I absolutely love this piece and it's super special. I think it actually came with either a skirt or pants or something, it was more of a set, but I just ended up going with the vest and I'm really glad I did. I am for sure gonna do this again each season because I'm realizing there's pieces in here that I also would consider amazing, but I will call them more my winter pieces. So I think I'll do a winter edition of this as well where I show you my winter top 20 as well. The next piece is this incredible green corset that, look at this, it's so amazing. It's this really bold Kelly green. I love the scallop detailing there at the top. And then the back has the lace up, which, you know, is always really fun to see. And then it cinches here at the front with little clasps. I love this piece. I found this at Super Thrift, which you can go back and see some of my videos where I've thrifted there, and I might have even found this in a video. I think I found this when I was with Brooke White, thrifting with her, so you can go back and watch that video and see me find it. And I've worn this a lot. I actually love this for fall because to me this is the perfect layering piece. I love to wear this over sweaters, like cinching in a sweater or a blouse, and actually just as of yesterday, I think you see me wearing a look where I took like that incredible blouse from Shop Lowland and then I layered the corset over that. And then I also just think this is really fun if you want to kind of do that corseting instead of belting. So take a dress and then, you know, belt your look up with this corset. And I just love this. And I think what makes me really love this the most is the really incredible green color because I feel like that isn't something I see that often, especially in corsets, is gorgeous, you know, green. Now we're gonna move in to some of my favorite pants. We're not even touching on denim today. We're just doing what's in my closet right here. These are some of my absolute favorite pants. They're 1970s, incredible plaid print pants. They fit perfectly. They're that kind of that perfect kind of snug with a little flare on them. And I've actually had this repaired like multiple times because I love them so much. I wear them and then I need to keep them. So I keep going back to the tailor to make sure I can hold on to these and make sure they're kept intact for me. And I found these, you, you can go back to one of my like really old thrifting videos. I think I found these in my five things to thrift video. I'm going to try to put it right up here because if I did, that would be really fun if I found them in that video. And I think one reason these are really special is pants like this, you cannot find at thrift stores. They're so hard to find like an incredible 70s plaid pant that's just perfect, that fits perfectly and well made and all of that. So I think I just love that I really found these at a thrift store. And then also they're just such a perfect plaid and I've worn these in so many different ways. You can see right here, you know, I feel like every fall I style them up all you know, Gucci and all 70s and all fun. So those are absolute favorites. I'm trying to decide if these are a spring summer pant or if these are fall, but I think they're fall. I mean, I wear them all the time. So these are just 
you know, one of my top 20. These incredible pants, again, another 1970s one. This is more of that stretchy material from the 70s that fit, you know, more like stretchy pants, which I love. Oh, and you can see that the tag is this is Sky City. I got these on eBay and I actually got them last year when we were in lockdown. I feel like I was doing a lot more hunting on eBay and these were a crazy fun find. I think I just had like an endless search for 70s pants. These popped up, they came in the mail, they fit perfectly, and they have become some of my favorites. I just love that print and it's so much fun to do print mixing you can see here I've worn them in so many different ways I feel like I do wear them in the summer with just simple print mixing combos and then I also love to do a lot of more like disco 70s mixes with this and really they are so comfy so they kind of feel like I'm wearing a sweatpants sometimes it's interesting as I'm reviewing pieces there's definitely some of my go-to's like I have my army pants and my camo pants and some leather pants that that are my tried and true. They're my favorites. They're some of the things that I come back to all the time. And I, yes, I probably would say they're my favorites and I would hold on to these forever, but I also feel like those are pieces that I might be able to find pretty easily. Some of the other stuff, I think really something sets it apart, like the print or, you know, a detail on the collar or things like that, that I feel like those are very hard to find. And so even though I would say, my army pants, my camo pants, my leather pants, those are some of my favorites, I'll never get rid of them. I wouldn't necessarily say they're my like hero piece because I do feel like I could probably find another pair of black leather pants that I love. So I just wanted to make that mention. Pulling from just the sections happening here in my closet, I have like a long skirt section and there's definitely some showstoppers in there, but I feel like I have to let them get seasoned a little bit before I say they're my favorites. But one that is one of my favorites is, this is not a vintage piece. This is um, Ralph Lauren Denim and Supply. So if you are in the mood to do some searching on Poshmark or eBay, it's my amazing quilted skirt that has this incredible kind of bustle detail at the back like it ruches in and it's really amazing i don't think i've really seen anything else like this and i thrifted this in palm springs i think on one of my little palm springs getaways and it's turned into one of those really great essential pieces that are super statement and every time i wear it i love it. I feel great in it. I also feel like so many of you guys have been like, will you sell this skirt? So I do feel like it's such a showstopper of a skirt. And you can kind of see here, I know I wore it like maybe last winter or no, two winters ago, you know, with sweaters and kind of more Ula Johnson inspired. I love it also. It's a great summer skirt as well, just with like simple tops. I've done it with crochet vests, and I feel like whenever I want to have that very either bohemian or kind of prairie or western story, I feel like this is my pull it out and go to piece. We are now moving from this section of my closet over to that section and it is my dresses, kind of longer outerwear and my skirts. But if we're going to talk about longer outerwear, if you watch my channel for a while or Instagram styling on the fly, any of it, you already know the two pieces I'm going to share. First is, speaking of quilting, my amazing quilted robe that is sadly falling apart. It's like little pieces are starting to fall off everywhere, but I just love this coat so much. I mean, I kind of have to give myself t like I could wear this every day because it's so amazing but I don't know it's funny with statement pieces like this sometimes I feel like I have to kind of like have my different moments in it and wear it different every time and I just have fun kind of creating the different characters that might wear this amazing quilted robe and you can kind of see here some of the different ways that I've worn it I feel like you can just do a very dressed down look with just denim and boots and I think I was like out in the country with it or you could do this as like an evening look throwing it over dresses oh and I think I've also worn this as a dress like belted 
and this was a fun present for my husband. I think I suggested it. I think I found it on Etsy years ago and you know I sent him my Christmas list and this was on it and I didn't even realize the gem that I was getting when I got it. And you probably already know what the second one is but it's my velvet tiger robe. This was a crazy good find that I think I found when I was with Maddie thrifting like our very first video where she had just started working with me and I think we went thrifting and I think I found this uh, robe and it's insane. It's velvet. It has this gorgeous kind of gold champagne colored lining satin looking and then this gorgeous you know super luxurious amazing velvet with these tigers on it. It's got the belt still with it which I love and I have had so much fun styling this in a lot of different ways. I think I've done like PJ dressing with it. I've done some you know layered up quirky Gucci inspired dressing with it and it is funny. It kind of hangs in my closet because it feels really special and kind of like my other quilted robe I always feel like I have to kind of come up with a new character that wears it so I'm funny like that like I kind of hold these pieces as little treasures that I want to like circle back to and create a whole story around it so I need to decide what it's going to do this fall maybe I don't know the studio 54 icon would look really great all dressed up with that or also the ranch heiress I feel like the ranch heiress might wear this as well time to move into dresses and again I'm sticking within the season of fall I feel like I still have some amazing dresses that I would say for sure for summer or spring or winter but I'm going to stick to fall and I picked up two gems because we're coming up on 20 pieces so I've got to limit myself first one is this amazing dress that oh I love this dress so much it's this incredible print it's floral but there's something psychedelic about it I love how it like bursts out even when I look at it here on the screen it's like bursting which I love and then it is all about this collar detail look at that oh so good and then also right here on the sleeves I love the contrasting sleeve there and this is so much fun. This was sent to me by one of you all, Andrea. I hope I'm saying it right, from Second Chic Buffalo. I think I'm saying it right again. I'll tag them right here. They're a shop in Buffalo, New York, and I feel like maybe a year, or two, three ago, <laughs> it's definitely been longer than a year. They sent me an amazing box of vintage pieces, and this dress was in it, and it's become one of my absolute favorites that I love to pull out in the fall and I've styled it up you know I feel like I keep repeating myself but you know Gucci inspired so I've done it with printed socks loafers and I don't know every time I wear it it feels like magic in it I've had some fun date nights with my husband in this dress and it's just I love it because it really is throw it on put on some fabulous shoes and you're good to go I'm gonna say this one is fall just because I have to talk about it and you know which one it is it's my butterfly dress it's just wonderful I love it I love the idea of the butterfly too I love the idea of a caterpillar being in a cocoon and then growing and coming out as a beautiful butterfly so I also just love the representation of the butterflies on this this is again 1970s it has this incredible what <laughs> This to me is the part that is just so insane. This neckline, that super deep plunge, which usually if you see a deep plunge, it's like a you know deep V, but this is almost like a rectangle shape. It's also in the back, so it's just really gorgeous. I always kind of have to tape it up to make sure everything stays intact, but it is so eye-catching and interesting. I think of that detail and then the incredible kind of voluminous sleeves when you wear it and then you know the amazing fabric on it the gold stitching the orange with the you know gold is so gorgeous oh I got this the fun story about this again is elsewhere vintage one of my favorite stores I've already mentioned them before but they if you go back you can see I've filmed a few times there she the owner Christine puts you know the amazing vintage dresses up at the very top and every time I've gone in I always look up there 
and kind of, oh, you know, dream about the different dresses up there. But usually they're more special pieces. And so I usually just shop the normal racks. And then, uh, I don't know, maybe four years ago, I was there. It was my birthday. And I thought, you know what? For my birthday, I'm going to go to elsewhere and I'm going to buy one of the dresses up on the ceiling. And this dress was hanging up there. And I still have never seen anything like this. Even when I go back, I still see beautiful dresses, but this one was, I think it was meant to be on that special birthday for me to find this dress. And I've definitely celebrated a lot of moments of my life in this dress, New Year's and Christmases, and uh, recently in Las Vegas, but I just, I just love it. If I have to pick absolutely one thing, this, this dress and probably my checkerboard print skirt would be like the top top of my heap of clothes. And then the final section that we're going to move into is skirts and one pair of shorts that hang in my skirts section. And the first skirt is one of those magical finds that I did not realize how much I was going to love this skirt, but it's this gorgeous printed pleated skirt. It has these amazing bow detail contrasting red detail there and it has buttons down the sides and I think I also found this in a thrifting video I'll try to link it up here I think it was in January at some point and I think it was like trends to thrift right now maybe <laughs> and I found this uh, skirt and I really did like it when I found it in the store but I you know sometimes it's so interesting the thought process in the store. Sometimes I make decisions and I'm like, why did I choose this over this? Or I come home and I'm like, ah, oh, dang it. I, I took one thing and I left something else and I shouldn't have done that. But this is one of those pieces where I was like, I think this is cool. I think I really like this. And then I got it home and I started styling it up and it's really become one of my absolute favorite skirts that I have in my closet. It's just really interesting. I love the print. I love the colors. This is such a fun piece to do the print mixing with and also the Gucci inspired dressing with it. And it is something that when I wear it, people are always like, oh, I love your skirt. Cause I think it's just, I don't know, it's kind of just different. And it feels also like it could be, you know, curtains <laughs> hanging in an old house. And I think that red bow at the top also makes it really fun and interesting. And I've even worn this with like a jersey tee. So it really, it's been styled up in so many different ways. And I feel like it's such a fun skirt for fall because it's not the expected colors for fall, but it really can play off the fall season. And the next skirt is one that I already mentioned. And you guys, again, probably know which one I'm talking about. It's my checkerboard print skirt, handmade. 100%. I got this at Swelligant Vintage, and I also think I found this in a video. This was my first trip out um, after lockdown last year, and I think I went like vintage and thrift shopping. It was like the first time I had gone in a few months, and it was kind of one of those magical days, and I found this skirt, and I really, I couldn't believe it when I found it. I, You know those times where you're shopping, and you're kind of like, looking and then you're like oh my gosh what did I just find and then you also look at the tag and you're kind of like oh my gosh this is totally doable you know sometimes it's like oh of course it's like way out of my budget or whatever but this one was I don't remember but it wasn't like crazy expensive and you're almost like looking around wondering if anybody else realizes how good of a thing you just found that was the skirt I was just like I can't believe I found this so that was a magical day. It really is so unique. I've seen a few versions of this, but not to this style. I love how straight of a midi skirt this is. It also has a slit at the front, which makes it really interesting. And all of the material is polyester. So it's that kind of stretchy, almost feels a little scuba. So I kind of like that because it really holds the shape instead of, you know, having the softness of cotton. And I also just love all of the colors in it because it really just lends itself to being worn in so many different ways with so many different colors. And this is another piece that I would say isn't really just for fall. It's any season. I have worn this in every season and that's what I love about it. So in my top 20 winter 
this will probably be in it too. But I actually haven't worn this recently, so I think it's due for another styling. And we're coming to our last two items, and this is another one that's not vintage. I think I've only had probably two items that weren't vintage. And these are oh, my favorite. They are leather kind of culotte long shorts. These are Paper Moon, and I got them from Sincerely Tommy, and I think I got them last year, and they've turned into such a great essential to my closet. And I feel like these are also the perfect fall piece because they're shorts. So I can wear them and not be dying of heat, but also because they're leather, they feel more fallish and you can kind of really embrace the fall season in the leather, which I think is really fun. And I have styled these, you know, in the off season as well. I think I even styled them in the summer, not on a super hot day, but I recently did just style these with my tall Tamara Mellon boots. And then I did that Western kind of peachy, toned shirt and like a, a really statement belt but I've worn these again so many different ways I love throwing this on as if I'm wearing pants you know with a blazer and things like that so I didn't realize again how much I would love having a pair of leather shorts especially these they're a little bit longer so they're not super short and if anything they're almost they might be even a little bit past my knee. So they're kind of a culotte, really, which I really like. And again, they're those pieces that a lot of people are like, oh, I love your shorts. And they're just fun. And again, being black like this, it's perfect because I really can do so much with them. And then the last piece is a kind of very new in piece for me, but you have seen me wear it. And I styled it up for the Bianca Jagger Jet Setter. And it is this amazing... 1970s set that is this really cool kind of tweed tunic vest situation and then it has just great tweed pants i love this has little flex if you can see kind of fun little flex of color in it so i also love that it kind of inspires um fun bold pops of color in it which is how i styled it for the photo shoot, I did like a bold uh, cobalt blue sock, and then I think I did, yeah, the orange turtleneck and then black and white button down with it. But it's so chic, and it's kind of a magical piece. I went to a vintage store up in Fullerton called Stray Cat Vintage, and I was, you know, there looking for 70s pieces for the photo shoot. And I, you know, asked the owner, does she have any, you know, 70 suits or anything? And she brought this piece out and I was like, oh my gosh, it's so good. And it like felt like a glove and it really is very unique. Like I haven't seen, I'm sure they're out there, but I haven't really come across a set like this with that longer tunic. I love that I can belt it. I also love separating the pieces and having just the pants to work with this fall. I feel like this is a great fall piece because again, it's, it's pieces that you can layer with, pieces that you can mix in and out. You could do, you know, just this vest, no shirt underneath. So I do feel like it's a nice way to tease fall. And then also I love the belt loop details right there just because I think that's kind of fun and then I feel like I could even throw this you know tunic on even with those leather shorts and do a whole different kind of look with it and that is it those are my top 20 pieces in my closet that I love for fall and it was so much fun to kind of journey through my closet and pick out the pieces that I really think are my favorite again I think it'll be interesting to see if I do a winter edition, a spring edition, and a summer edition, what comes out, because there were some of the pieces that I was like, oh, I love this, but I didn't feel like it was like fully in the fall mode. And again, I think some of these pieces will be repeated because they really are pieces that I wear no matter what the season. And so it was really fun to just kind of decide what are my favorites. And that was so much fun to share with you all. I want to know down in the comments below if you <laughs> if you watched my channel before. You probably have some of the things you're like, oh, I love that piece that you wear. So I'd love to know what some of your favorite pieces are from my closet. I think that would be really interesting to know. And again, I didn't even go into denim, accessories, shoes, 
bags. There's so many more pieces that I could have pulled out, but I really was just sticking with was right here in my closet. But maybe we'll do a whole accessories edition. Just let me know if you want to see more of these kind of collections of top 20s. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel. I have new videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And finally, always play dress up and I'll see you guys later. Bye! Bye.